good morning one and all my name is harini hamsika today i am going to speak about girl education in ancient india the girls were never allowed to get education as they were in low in the society but nowadays if we see the difference from our ancient india to nowadays india there is a lot of difference as girls are now in every field of job occupations like aeronautical engineer space scientist army and etc etc if we take examples of nowadays sudha moti she is one of the writer and she, uh, she faced the difficulties in her teenage as she studied in a boys college but she did she did not have any facilities of having girls washroom or many things she faced a lot of difficulty and now she became one of the inspiration for our for our indians and if we take another example malala yousafzai who fought against terrorists and studied for education and fought for the education in pakistan and now she is the inf- inspiration for many children and uh, another example malavika hedde she is uh, the owner of the coffee day once upon a time the her husband died because of the suicide attempt and as he lost I mean he has a loss in the company but malavika had to take over the company and she did her uh, her best trying to decrease the loss of the company and now it is the best company of having the coffee day and in the girls were in every occupation like nirmala sita raman the financial minister and our prime min, pri- president uh, draupadi murmu uh, this is called girl empowerment girl empowerment is very important for the development of the country girl education leads to the girl empowerment so girl education leads to girl empowerment and girl empowerment leads to the development of the country women education is very essential for the development of the country as women are the first teachers of their children thank you <laughs>